From the Heavens is an incredibly appropriate song title name when we think of Omega and the whole Alphascape raid, and certainly an appropriate theme for a super boss in Final Fantasy XIV, but also spanning across all Final Fantasies that have featured Omega. Let's check out From the Heavens and look at some of the lyrics and see what they might mean lore-wise. Let's stop right there. A few really interesting things of note. When we start, that's a proclamation. Our shadows lost in light, this life of fleeting kiss. Probably repeats. Hark, temptation rings, but virtue slips through hands are clenching wicked fruit. Oh, sorry, I don't want to get too carried away. When we have an intro like this, Omega saying, I'm here, I am present, I am available, I am ready to fight you, I am ready to be here, to call out to you, to shout your name. And it's interesting because the, sh the lyrics say, Our shadows lost in light. This life a fleeting kiss. Our shadow lost in light. We are bathing in light. We are lost to this life. This life is a fleeting kiss. It's but a temporary moment, this life. We are lost to it. Uh, our shadow is being blinded by the light. Blinded by the light. Wake up. No, sorry. <laughs> So right there, obviously we have that from the heavens. Which has become synonymous with the warrior of light theme. So we have this duality here where we have the conflict and the thought process and the words relating to Omega. And of course the warrior of light's theme, which represents hope and strength and all that other stuff. Let's look at some more lyrics. Virtue slips through hands of clenching wicked fruit. Uh, this is Adam and Eve. I hold the fruit, my virtue slips through through because I'm eating this fruit, passion then becomes in me. I become passion incarnate, blackening sinless souls to root. The entire essence of my being becomes black and full of sin because I have eaten this fruit. Sink neath dark waters, drink deep. We suffer, drowning, 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 drowning. As you drown underneath the darkness of the water, drink it in because this is suffering. We drown. Irons sundered, paradise plundered. And that's interesting. We think about how Omega was an anti-primal weapon by the Alligans. We think about Teleji Adeleji, who schemed to get his hands on the super weapon. We think about Nero discovering Omega's console in the Cartano Flats, trying to awake it, which Omega is eventually awakened to fight against Shinryu, with Omega falling deep into that crater, which is where we find it in Stormblood for this whole Alpha Escape sequence, where then we, Warriors of Light, we have to prove ourselves and fight the, the mightiest beings uh, that uh, Omega brings forth. After all, Omega has been underground, Omega has been in stasis, Omega has been used since its inception for others. And so Omega really hasn't had a life of its own, and it seems like there's some component of Omega that despite being a uh, mechanical creation, there is an, uh, a sentience and, and a desire to feel life. And so in these lyrics, it's interesting to me. Onward march, witness our escape. This is our escape. This is our escape. This is our ascension. In a way, I kind of wonder if Omega doesn't want to be free, free of the 
hellscape that they've been created for. I'm kind of curious about this sin topic here. Sickle grade on Heaven's Gate, their fields ignored, seeking sinners deathlessly. They reap discord as two become one. Perhaps because Omega becomes two, embodying the warrior of light, they merge together. I'm not entirely sure, obviously. But this music is absolutely powerful, and it really is one of these fantastic, larger-than-life boss events. And uh, let's keep listening. That's juicy. Listen to this. <laughs> Typical, right? We have the horns. Ba -ba 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 -da -ba. The horns there give us that real feeling of heroicism and emphasis on, on excitement and strength of will. And then... That's dissonance, and there's that constant, there's that clash, that's Omega talking back to us, response, call and response there. That's also really cool. You hear the angst, you hear the frustration, you hear the one-sided thought process that Omega has here. The Almost the feeling of like, you have no idea what you're talking about. You know, like, it's like, well, I'm telling you that you need to, you need to end this. This is over. And Omega responds saying, no, I'm not going to. There's a call and response here. And it's really cool when we do that because we have our heroic version. And then you've got And so the two are going like this, trying to say, hey, it's time. No, it's not. You don't understand the suffering I've experienced, you know? And, and see, now they're on top of each other. that decay as we have and I love the instrumentation here because we start with horns then we go to piano then we go to a harp like instrument and so we have this shifting into a gentler instrumentation of that torn from the heavens theme there the solo soprano <laughs> 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 
there's a bit of this introspective thing here, and I think it, it sort of adds this three-dimensionality to the idea that Omega just wants out. Omega's like, fine, let's fight, but I, I need to win this because I need to get out of here. Perhaps this solo soprano is insecurity, which is odd to think about in a machine. However, uh, it's always helpful to have this three dimensionality when we're looking at characters so that they don't fall flat. And as I'm looking on the screen, actually Omega says bleep, blip, bleep for rift energy unnecessary. It is output maximized bug mass production bleep hello world. It's like it's calling out. It wants to come out of this hole and be a part of, of our world. And not to quote um, Little Mermaid, but what's the point of all this power if, if it can't experience the taste of life and the becoming a sinner? And it's really interesting. piece is incredible. I don't know the truth about the things I said. And also look at the title, From the Heavens, and the track that this is doubled with, Torn from the Heavens. And we have to look at that and see what is there. And those little clues like that are fantastic. Omega is from the heavens. The warrior of light is torn from the heavens. Yet the two are, in this moment, symbiotically connected. The little back end of that first go around is just sublime and this is one of the coolest tracks i've ever heard i'm not sure if what i'm playing for you here on the screen is the correct imagery pretty sure that the the splitting into the two warriors of light is the correct version but i i don't i don't know it's sort of confusing anyway if you like this sort of stuff there's tons of final fantasy on the channel feel free to like feel free to subscribe and uh, hey i'll see you on the next video bye